This book contains in condensed form the methods of teaching harmony as presented in my Harmony Lera. Those whose training is based on these methods will easily be able to follow the more remote conclusions on the evaluation of structural functions. Unfortunately, the understanding of harmony by many students is superficial and foreign to the procedures of great composers. This is caused by the general use of two obsolete teaching methods. One, consisting of writing parts above a figured bass, is much too easy a task. The other, harmonizing a given melody, is too difficult. Both are basically wrong. Practicing part writing is the only achievement of the figured bass method. The expectation that becoming familiar with correct harmony progressions will train the ear is not justified. If such were the case, familiarity with good music would make further teaching superfluous. Besides, playing from figured bass is no longer customary. I suppose that my generation was the last to know it. Today, even good organists prefer written out harmonies to the obsolete shorthand notation. Harmonizing given melodies is in contradiction to the process of composition. A composer inverts melodies and invents melody and harmony simultaneously. Subsequent correlation may sometimes be necessary, improvements anticipating later developments and adaptations for changing purposes may challenge the composer's technique. One might also be obliged to harmonize a melody, a folk song, or one by a one finger composer. Again, this can be done only by one who has been born with or has acquired the sense for the evaluation of harmony.